All right, Slack Monster fans, from the 50 movie pack, drive and movie classics, continuing with the Christmas theme, we're going to watch something called uh, Don't Open Till Christmas. Let's check it out. The film starts with a couple making out in a car. He, he's in a Santa suit, and he's been stabbed. And the girl? Well, after a brief chase, she gets stabbed too. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong Santa Claus. Now here's another Santa Claus. Are we sensing a theme here? Death to Santa Clauses. Will be given early next year. Tonight in London, the festive atmosphere has a distinct chill about it, as yet another Santa Claus is slain. And now, the weather. So clearly we have somebody killing people dressed in Santa Claus suits. This poor Santa roasting chestnuts over an open grill is now our third Santa Claus victim. <laughs> Make it four. You'd think people would stop going out dressed as Santa by now. Now this is a nude model who uh, ran outside wearing just a Santa Claus suit and looks like the killer was going to kill her too but gave her a break. This is a Santa in one of those uh, sex booths. There's a guy named Giles. Giles Morgan. That's your Sergeant McFaith, sure, yeah. Giles allegedly has some information about the murders. Meanwhile, we have another Santa roaming the streets. Now there are some undercover cops as Santa. I believe this is one of them. I think this is another one, although it's very, very dark here. Meanwhile, the sex booth worker goes back to work. What you do on your side of the glass is your business. Hey, what's with you? But she recognizes him from the other night. He ends up kidnapping her, ties her up. Monroe has a small role in this film, doing just what you see, and that's it, singing. Now you briefly saw that Santa roaming around backstage. Well, somebody got to that Santa. This Santa decides to go pee in a public toilet. 
Oh, Lord. Giles again, seeming a little creepy. I had dinner with Inspector Harris. He's expecting a call from me. Are you telling me that I can? She figures out that the police chief is Giles' brother. Harris is your brother. Did he tell you that? No, I, I worked it out myself. Brutal. Cops get there just a little too late. Yes, hello. Yes, Paul. I thought I told you to watch Harris night and day. You did? What, he's been in it? This guy's not even a Santa Claus. Meanwhile, the sex worker's still locked up. Plum pudding, snow falling. Acid stopper. And the arrival of Santa Claus. So obviously, we know Giles is our Santa Claus killer. A chase ensues between the two. And she manages to toss him off the side of the balcony. I like her shirt that says Diddy on it. Of course, as usual, the killer's not dead yet, in spite of that long fall. Now we have a flashback to when uh, Giles and his brother were kids. Giles burst in and saw his dad uh, porking somebody who wasn't his mom. Traumatized him. When mom came in and saw it, an accident ensued. Mom fell down the stairs, presumably dying. And this pretty much messed Giles up forever. Fast forward to present day again, Giles' brother. Presumably Giles is dead at this point. But, he left a gift behind for his brother, the police chief. Some sort of music box. And that's our movie. Alright, let's talk about the movie Don't Open Till Christmas, which is a, a public domain movie, I believe. It's available on several different compilations and things. I have it on this 50 movie pack, Drive-In Movie Classics. Um, I, I rented this movie when I was a kid in the 80s. I rented it from a place called Denny's Video in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Years later, I didn't watch it at the time, I rented it and copied it, but um, years later I retaped it. Uh, 1997, I think, is when I saw it. And I actually watched it that time. The only thing I remembered is that line which I showed you with the British guy saying, ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. For whatever reason, that line has stuck with me forever. I don't know why, but I still use it to this day for no reason whatsoever. And there you go. So anyway, this movie here, it's a Christmas movie, kind of. Christmas horror. It's a guy. Now, a lot of the Christmas movies that I've seen this past week are people dressed up in Santa Claus suits killing people. This is kind of the opposite. This is a killer who is killing people who are dressed up as Santa Claus. Very cheery guy, right? So if you're dressed up in the Santa Claus, you're working in the store or something, don't wander around London in 1984 because you might get killed by this guy. We ultimately know his name is Giles, but Turns out that he was traumatized as a kid. Uh, he There was Christmas at his house when he was uh, maybe 10, 11 years old. And he walked upstairs and saw his dad humping some woman. But the woman he was humping wasn't mom. Now, dad happened to be dressed in a Santa Claus suit at the time. Mom burst in, saw them, and then dad freaked out, hit the mom. She fell down the stairs, presumably died. And that really messed up Giles for life. Now, Giles has a brother. Um, his brother, I guess, went good. He's now like the chief of police in London here. Um, and uh, they each have different last names now. But Giles is back, and he's just killing one person after another, anybody dressed in a Santa Claus suit. Ultimately, um, he ends up kidnapping the sex worker. He's 
basically wants to like torture her, but I guess mentally torture her. I'm going to keep you alive for a little while longer. She escapes. They chase. He chases her down, but um, he ends up falling over the side of a railing and falls several stories to his death. Um, I actually don't know if he's dead for sure. Uh, the woman comes downstairs then, and of course he wakes up and jolts alive. And then from that point, we see a flashback to the stuff that happened when he was a little kid. Um, and then of course the last scene in the movie, uh, he left his brother a Christmas gift, and when a brother opened it up, it was a music box, but there was a bomb inside of it, and it blew up, and presumably the brother died, and that's how our movie ended with the credits rolling. So, anyway, a couple of nude scenes in this movie. Uh, Carolyn Monroe shows up for really no reason whatsoever. Um, it's British made, obviously, a British cast. I didn't really know anybody in this movie. Edmund Perdome, I think, is the star of this movie, and um, the name sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you anything else he did, but I'm sure... Other people know what he did. So anyway, like I said, it's available on several different compilations. Like I said, it's public domain, so I don't think there is a really like good copy floating around. It's all uh, pretty shabby stuff. Um, not the best looking copy in this one either, but it's the best one I got. So anyway, check it out. I'll leave a link down below to one of the versions you can get out there, and let me know what you think about Don't Open Till Christmas. Um, leave some comments. Watch it. Bye. Merry Christmas. Ducking and weaving. Ducking and weaving.